hi guys welcome back to my channel oh my god look at this it finally happened ah, lipstick on my teeth <laughs> finally did it but I changed my hair literally yesterday and I was so excited to film I was like oh my god I can't wait to show it to them I can't wait to talk about it like it's been so long that I've been wanting to do this and I finally found someone that did it for me oh my god this lipstick is like all over my teeth I'll talk about it in today's video but I wanted to do like a chit chat catching up with everything that's been going on in my life lately and just like I want to catch up with you guys because I feel like I haven't done a chit chat get ready with me in a while so I wanted to just like talk to you guys so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you're watching this video and you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed yet please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the family and if you want to get ready with me then let's go ahead and get started honestly you guys i feel like the camera is not picking up the color like as true as it is in person because in person it's definitely like more blonde and ashy and um, you can see like golden tones and like a little bit of caramel tones. It is like the perfect balance for me because I wanted some dimension, I wanted some color, but I didn't wanna be blonde. Like I did not wanna go fully blonde because I still love my dark hair. So I told him I wanted to keep the darker roots and then have like a balayage with caramel and blonder and ashy tones. And that's exactly what he did. But the most important part, you guys, like I was terrified because I was afraid that my hair was going to fall out or that my hair was going to be super dry and flaky. And he took such great care of my hair. Like literally as soon as he finished, he was like, touch your hair. Like it is softer than how you actually came into the salon. Let's go ahead and get started because if not, I'm just going to continue talking about my hair and staring at the monitor. I'm still not used to it yet. So <laughs> bear with me. This is going to be sort of like a chit chat. Get ready with me. I haven't done one in so long. I miss these videos. I miss doing my makeup with you guys. So I'm going to start doing them more often if you want to see them. I actually have a few events that I'm going to this upcoming week. Maybe I can even bring someone on my channel so we can get ready together and just chat about girl stuff and life if you guys would want to see that let me know in the comments below so i've actually had a bare face all morning i had a meeting super early this morning so i had to like head out i literally just like put a little bit of concealer on these spots and that's pretty much it but i did end up washing my face so i'm just gonna go in with this biore baking soda cleansing micellar water and i like to use this to remove my makeup but i also use it when i'm not wearing any makeup and i have a bare face and i'm about to do my makeup but i want to make sure that it's nice and clean because i feel like even after you wash your face you still have a little bit of you know that little something something left over as you guys can tell actually going to palm springs tomorrow and i'm going with bure this is not sponsored at all but i'm super excited the last time i went to palm springs i went for coachella and i think it was about a year to two years ago it was lit af you guys like i had so much fun okay then i'm gonna go in with my moisturizer i've been using this brightening enzyme water cream by sunday riley and i'm almost out of it let me show you this is literally okay do you see that whoa i almost dropped it because it's so like Ooh, <laughs> this is really nice because it helps with dark spots it also hydrates your skin at the same time so i like to go in and just apply this literally not even apply lather it into my skin and i also bring it down to my neck so for primer today i'm actually using a new one this is by bare minerals this is a blemish rescue skin clearing anti redness mattifying primer and it says it's good basically for acne prone skin so i'm going to go ahead and apply this on the center of my face i'm going to take a pea size just like this and then focus wherever i get oily for foundation i'm going to be using this one this is by a new brand i actually just got a pr package from them and they sent over all of their products and i was most excited about the foundation for one reason because of this shade they have this beautiful yellow kind of like olive undertone foundation shade and i was like uh yes i need to put this all over my face especially because i don't know if you guys can tell my face is like so much lighter than my body but i am literally like four shades darker than my normal shade and that's because Okay, so last week I went to the Bahamas and then as soon as I got back, I went straight to Miami and both trips I was out in the sun a lot. So uh, your girl was tanning a lot. Of course, I was using protection on my skin, both my face and my body. Is this a full size? Because this is a tiny bit. This might just be the PR package. Let's see, because that is a tiny amount. So I'm going to go on their website and see 
how much product you actually get and what is the price of this foundation because you know we, we need to know turns out that this is the full size like i'm kind of like shook right now this is 18 dollars, by the way i will honestly go through this in like a week or two because this is such a small amount and i feel for 18 dollars, that's kind of expensive but let's try it let's see how it works on the skin um so far the shade is looking good so we shall see how it performs on the face this is just one layer and i feel like i've already gone through like half of the tube so i mean flesh like i feel like the foundation color is perfect but we're gonna need a little bit more product in there all right i'm just taking my morphe y7 brush and i'm gonna go ahead and blend this into my skin this is my favorite blush blush this is my favorite brush to apply my foundation i've been using it non-stop lately oh the foundation is covering up pretty nicely as you guys were able to tell i do have a little bit of scarring on the right side of my face and the left side and it's covering up pretty nice but it does have more of like a dewy luminous finish which i typically don't use dewy foundations because your girl has oily skin and she needs that skin to stay matte for the rest of the day but it looks fine. I mean, I love the color and um, I feel like I can still make it work if I bake and set it with my matte powder. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer. I'm using the shade Natural Beige and I'm going to apply this under my eyes to basically highlight and conceal. But yeah, I went and I got my hair done and I was there for hours and hours and I was like terrified the entire time, just like scared, overthinking everything. I don't know if any of you are like this as well, but like before I do anything, I think about it a million times. It literally took me forever to even make the appointment because I was like, okay, what if it doesn't work out? What if this, what if that, what if, like I overthink everything and that's like anything in my life. So. I'm actually glad that I made the decision to go because I'm so happy with how it turned out. And he was like, we can even go a little bit lighter if I wanted to, you know, with time. I didn't want to do it right then and there, especially because I was going from jet black to like this color. So I was lucky enough that my hair picked up the color pretty fast. And he did go in and like, you know, tone it and did all that professional stuff. I honestly know nothing about hair. So I was like, you do your thing. And like, you just explain to me everything. And by the way, I did like film the entire process. I also wanted to give you guys a little update on the wedding. Oh my God, it's literally almost here. I'm getting married early next month and um, I'm pretty excited about it. It's a big deal for me because I'm doing something super small and intimate and just how we want it. Like, so we wanted to do something small and that's exactly what we're gonna do. And I feel like you should do what makes you happy. So like, you know, if you're with your partner and you feel this pressure to have this big wedding and spend all this money, but you really don't want to, like, do what makes you happy because at the end of the day, it's your day. It's all about you and that special person. You know what I mean? So that's exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to use our money to buy a house and, you know, go on a super long honeymoon. And I'm pretty excited about it. We're going on our dream destination. I haven't told you guys yet that either, but that will come soon. <laughs> and oh my God, I haven't told you guys. I also got a new wedding ring and I want to talk about it in this video because a lot of people were asking me about it on the vlog channel and on my Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and apply my contour as I talk to you guys because if not, we are going to be here for days and uh, yeah, we, we can't do that. <laughs> but basically when we got engaged, Jose got me an engagement ring. It didn't come with the actual band. So we went out looking for a band for my engagement ring because I love that ring so much and it was my favorite and um, I just wanted something that we can add to it. But I didn't see anything that I really loved and that went with that ring. So we decided to just go with a whole new set and that's what we did. And we ended up with this one right here. I actually have to get it resized but because it does take a little bit longer to get it resized I was like okay we'll get married and then once we get married and take our you know wedding photos then I can send it for resize so I do have like a wedding um, ring adjustment thing I freaking love it so much it is so beautiful I love the square top like that's just one of my favorite designs and then it does have like diamonds all over the side which is just like oh it's just so beautiful so once we get married i'll add the second ring and um you guys will get to see like the whole set band is also so beautiful i can't wait for you guys to see it but yeah it's just gonna be like a really special small intimate 
day for me but that's how i want it like like i said do what makes you happy and that's you know at the end of the day your happiness should always come first so i'm pretty excited about it i am thinking about filming like the makeup look that i'm doing for my actual wedding because i am going to be using like a few of my favorite products but because it is going to be a really special day for me i also wanted to buy like some luxury products to include in there just so i can have like as a memory but if you guys want to see that i would love to film it so please let me know in the comments and if you agree with that person make sure to give their comment a thumbs up so i can know how many people will want to watch that video and just like the routine that i'm doing you'll be surprised because i'm not doing anything like super glam and dramatic i'm doing something more like sophisticated and classic and still glam you know what i mean but i'm excited and uh yeah it's it's, it's kind of a big deal for me but yeah look how easy that concealer brush just blended everything and it also helps that that concealer is just so creamy I'm gonna go in and set my face i'm using the baking powder by huda beauty and i've been using this a lot lately you guys like i brought it on vacation with me and then i also brought it to miami oh my god let's talk about miami that humidity is no joke i went to miami a few days ago with neutrogena for an award show and it was honestly like the best brand trip that i've ever been on it was so much fun it was a really small group but the whole team was so nice and the other influencers were so much fun I had the best time like literally like i love miami so much i told jose we have to go back i would love to just go and just explore and there's so much culture there but today i'm going to be using this fenty beauty moroccan spice eyeshadow palette i've been using this a lot lately and i really like it i'm gonna do one eye off camera and then we'll do the second eye on camera i'm gonna go in and fill in my brows before i do my eye makeup i'm using my precisely my brow pencil in the shade number five and i'm just going to lightly fill in my brows i like to go in with a light hand because this eyebrow pencil is super pigmented so you don't need a lot after i'm done with my brows i'm gonna go in and prime my eyelids i'm using one of my recent favorite eye primers this is the sigma eyeshadow base primer and this is in the shade persuade i like that it's creamy but when you set it on your eyelids it literally does not move and just makes your eyeshadow blend a lot better and last longer and i do have a coupon code for sigma so if you want to buy any brushes or makeup products it's just diana 10 it'll give you 10 percent off your order so i'm gonna go in and blend this on my eyelids i'm taking my morphe r34 brush and i'm going to dip it into this matte red shade and then i'm going to dust it off just a little bit and then i'm going to diffuse this color onto my crease this is such a beautiful shade and i like that these colors are very pigmented but they don't have a lot of fallout. So I'm just going to lightly diffuse this color onto my crease. So I'm going in with this matte deep brown shade and I'm going to take my MAC, what brush is this? 239S brush. And this is part of their synthetic line and I'm just going to apply this all over the lid, bringing this color all the way to the crease so that I can blend them together and I don't have any harsh lines. And I love this brush. I feel like you can use this to pack on color under the lower lashes, but also if you wanted to build up that color on the lid, you can do that as well. Now to blend in the two colors together, I'm taking this shade right here and I'm just lightly going to blend the two colors. Now that I have my darker colors on my eyelids, I can go ahead and remove my baking powder. That's the reason that I... Uh, uh. <laughs> that's the reason that's one of the reasons why i had left it on so that my concealer and my foundation won't get ruined do you see that my face is peeling do you see that so the foundation is not staying in place uh yeah we're gonna have to fix this so uh, <laughs> let's see what can we do i'm going to contour my nose and then i'm gonna go in and apply a little bit of highlighter so that way i can define the nose and also hide take that same dark brown shade and i'm going to apply this under my lower lashes and i'm just gonna smoke out the look i want to open up my eyes just a tiny bit so i'm going in with that eyeshadow base primer by sigma and i'm gonna go in and apply this on my waterline lashes are currently drying so i'm gonna go in and contour my nose and we're gonna try and hide this situation right here so we don't have to do the full face again so i'm going in with this mac powder this is an nw40 i'm gonna go in and lightly contour my face i'm using my kkw medium contour kit and i'm going to take this shade right here which is a cool tone and i'm going to apply this on the hollows of my cheekbones i really like this powder because it blends really easily and also the shade is like perfect for my skin tone so I'm gonna go in and just lightly define my cheekbones. 
So I'm just gonna go in and apply a little bit of highlighter to the bridge of my nose, on the inner parts of my eyelids, on my cupid's bow, and I'm also going to highlight my brow bone. Adding a little bit of contour to my nose and highlight, mm-hmm, now you can't see it. And I don't have to redo my foundation, so a little tip for anybody who has the same problem and uh, doesn't wanna fix it. I mean, if you have time to fix it, you can go ahead and fix it. But if you don't have time to fix it and you just kind of want to hide it and like make it work, contouring and a little bit of highlight always works. I just got this PR package from Huda Beauty. Like how amazing does she look? I'm so excited. So this is their new Demi Matte formula for her liquid lipsticks. And they sent over all of these gorgeous shades. Oh my God, I'm literally dying. I kind of want to use this shade right here on my lips because I feel like it'll look really nice with this eye makeup but i just recently used a very similar color on my lips so i think i'm gonna lean towards a more like mauvey nude shade mm, she e o is looking like the one right now do you see that oh okay let's do this one when you buy it this is what you get right here oh this is so pretty i love clear packaging i feel like if i was to have like my own makeup i would do something like this very like simple and all about the product so i love this so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had so much fun chatting with you and just catching up and letting you know everything that's been going on in my life lately do i have lipstick on my teeth no, a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what other videos you want to see here on my channel this week. And I will see you all in the next one very soon. Bye.